here we are at 1674 Cattail. And I'm not going to, you've seen the outside photos from other things, so I'm not going to take the time to um, show that, but I am going to let you feel this open porch. And look at this backyard. There's an amazing deck here that you'll see more. And back there is Cattail Pond. So let's go on in and take a look, because you won't believe the surprises that hide in this house. It's just amazing. So as you come into the living room, you're greeted with ceiling fan, great place to hang your artwork, nice amount of space. There's a, a wood stove here with an insert, so that just gives you lots of room, and you can kind of see through that window because of the, um, oh, that light curtain. So here, is the basement and we'll come down to that near the end you have your access to the garage door there and your closet's right here nice and convenient now open your eyes because this kitchen is awesome you have your gas range and there's the five burners and that middle burner you can put in a large pan for doing pancakes and other flat things you've got your microwave you have a double oven this pantry is a great pantry and look at the refrigerator space. Take a note of the cabinets. And look at this wonder, wonderful countertop. The drawers. I mean, I can go into a lot of detail, but remember, we just have a short time to show you this house, and there is so much to show you. So imagine entertaining with your friends here in this house. And then taking a breath at the end of the day and looking out. Now, it's a little bit of an overcast day, so you can't see the foothills, but the foothills are there, and it's just gorgeous. There's some built-in lights. You can have your kind of chandelier and lighting, even though I like these. You can still change things and have what you want. Then you have your steps going upstairs. Now, we're not going to go upstairs yet. We're going to take a look at this main floor. So the first one, now these two rooms, and remember this house has been remodeled and added onto, and it's just lovely. So you have one office here, and then you have another office here. And you could change those into a bedroom if you wanted to. You have a half bath for your guests right here, and behind those doors is a linen closet. And then you have a main floor master. So if you have company or mother-in-law or some family that really is having issues with stairs, this is a great place to be. And it doesn't have a tub, but it has the full shower, which is just what you need to have. So you've got flexibility, and my door's shutting on me, and it looked like my camera was having trouble keeping up. So now we're going to go upstairs. The master bedroom is on the upstairs, and you'll see why it's such a great place for it here in a minute. But you can also use the main floor if you need it to be. Now, up here is a study office, or it could be a bedroom. You could finish it to other things. You could have an in-home office, depending on what you're doing to just make sure you follow code. And it's on the front side of the house. So you can keep an eye on the street below, enjoy the day, and just kind of have a peaceful, quiet day. So let's get back out and go to the master bedroom. Because as I said, we don't have much time. And I want to cover as much as I can. OK. When you enter this room, you have a his and a hers closet. And then you have a linen space here, to the straight ahead right here. Here is a door to the master bath. So you have some privacy and placement away from the rest of the bedroom. Now the bedroom here, look at these lights. You have a ceiling fan. This is a large room, folks. It's pretty amazing. But even more amazing than that is the views, the deck. Look at the amount of space out here. You have a covered deck. You have uncovered deck, and oh good, the door's open. I just have to take you out here. This is too amazing. So look at this open space area that you have out here. You feel like even though you're living in Loveland, you're actually in the country because of all the horse farms and ranches, and I wanna show this deck to you. So you've got your master bedroom here. They have, um, see how fully covered that is? And at first, I didn't think this was covered, but it's the wood. Actually, it looks like it's probably Trex type material. And then coverage on top. And when you want to soak up the rays, you can come clear out here. Oops, and it's a little icy today. We'll have a little snowfall. Great backyard. You can park RVs. Okay, I'm gonna get back out of here. And uh, I just love the quality of this house. 
and I left the door open a little bit. I didn't mean to do that. Okay, so you have RV parking, and then on this side, you see they have space for both. They have some covered on this side, and there's covered on the other side along with a two-car garage. Okay, let's go back in. Now we're going to have to go down. Oh, I didn't do the bathroom. And that's something that everyone... You always want to see what the master bath looks like. And this one has double sinks, nice lights, medicine cabinets, lots of space in here. You have your shower, tub, and then you have your toilet with the doors that close. Um, actually, there is no door here because, duh, you have a door here. And that's always that discussion, where do you put the doors to the bathroom? Hi there. Okay, now you can see that you have lots of walls here for family pictures. Um, what's that called? The Hall of Fame, where you have pictures of everybody. But I also tell people to take the photos down because you're looking at this house to move into it. You don't want to necessarily see what somebody else has. But you have to visualize it yourself. So we're back here on the main floor. There's that great kitchen and dining area. And we're heading down. And as we come downstairs, you'll see that we have an awesome laundry room. Room to even put up a table. Lots of cabinets, folding table if you're a crafter. Lots of space, washer and dryer space down here. And then um, the hot water heaters over here too, or the furnace. This house actually has two furnaces. Now this is a great room for theater space. And see how they put in the curtains, and that's always nice for acoustics. And then those cabinets behind there are actually designed to be able to keep your DVDs or your movies in there. Down here, you have two additional bedrooms and another bath. So here's a bedroom. And I would call it non-conforming because there's no closet. And that space right there could easily be enclosed in a closet if that's what you'd like to do. And with any house, there's always room to change it. Here's the other bedroom with a ceiling fan and a closet. And I think, well, actually, we're doing pretty good for our timing here. So we have another bathroom and a mirror and countertops and nice woodwork. This home was redesigned and it's just a lovely home, lots of flexibility for you. And I would think that um, if you have any questions about it, we would really appreciate you calling us so we could answer your questions and set up a private showing for you to take a look at it. And we're going to finish up this tour with a view outside of the kitchen dining area to remind you how peaceful it is. Keep checking our website because we'll have new photos on there with better views. Have a great day. We look forward to seeing you soon. Bye now.